Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see about sound. How is sound produced? Sound is produced when an object is set to vibrate. What is vibration? Vibration means a kind of rapid to and fro motion of an object. Sound is produced by vibrating bodies. Vibration can be felt by touching. Propagation of sound. When you call your friend who is standing at a distance, your friend is able to hear your voice. How your friend is able to hear you? He is able to hear because your sound travels from one place to another. Sound is a form of energy and it needs a medium to travel. What is a medium? A substance through which sound is transmitted is called medium. In any medium, as the temperature increases, the speed of sound also increases. For example, the speed of sound in air is 331 meter per second at 0 degree Celsius and 344 meter per second at 22 degree Celsius. Some information. Thomas Alva Edison in 1877 invented the phonograph, a device that played the recorded sound. Sound needs a medium to travel. We can understand this by doing a bell jar experiment. The experiment is done by placing an electrical bell in the bell jar. As soon as the air is pumped out from the bell jar, the sound from the bell jar fades. At a particular vacuum, no more sound is heard from the bell, but we can see the hammer continues hitting the gong and the sound is produced. Sound travels in water and solid also. The speed of sound is more in solid than in liquids and it is very less in gases. We can also see some vibration. For this, we can do an activity. Take a plate, then take a cup of water and a spoon. Now take the cup of water and pour in the plate. Now take the spoon and hit the plate. Now you can see the vibrations in the water. The speed of the sound is the distance travelled by it in one second. It is denoted by V. It is represented by the expression v equal to n into lambda where n is frequency and lambda is the wavelength what is wavelength wavelength is the distance between two consecutive particles which are in the same place of vibration it is denoted by the greek letter lambda the unit of wavelength is meter in simple words wavelength can be defined as the distance between two successive crests or trough of the wave the wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency this means longer the wavelength lower the frequency similarly lower the wavelength longer the frequency What is crest and trough? A crest point on a wave with the maximum value of upward displacement within a cycle. A crest is a point on a surface wave where the displacement of the medium is at the maximum. Trough is the opposite of the crest, so the minimum or lowest point in a cycle. What is frequency? Frequency is the number of vibration of a particle in the medium in one second. It is denoted by n. The unit of frequency is hertz. Now we can see some sums. A sound has a frequency of 50 Hz and a wavelength of 10 meter. What is the speed of the sound? Given n equal to 50 Hz and lambda equal to 10 meter. We know that v equal to n into lambda. Then speed of equal to 50 into 10 equal to 500 meter per second. Second, a sound has a frequency of 5 Hz and a speed of 25 meter per second. What is the wavelength of a sound? Solution. Given n equal to 5 Hz, v equal to 25 meter per second, v equal to n into lambda. Therefore, lambda equal to v divided by n equal to 25 divided by 5 equal to 5 meter. Therefore, wavelength equal to 5 meter. Sound is a form of energy. It is transferred through the air or any other medium in the form of mechanical waves. Mechanical wave is a disturbance which propagates in a medium due to repeated periodic motion of the particles of the medium from their mean position. Characteristics of wave motion. In wave motion, only the energy is transferred, not the particles. The velocity of the wave motion is different from the velocity of the vibrating particle. For the propagation of a mechanical wave, the medium must possess the properties of inertia, electricity, uniform density and minimum friction among the particles. Types of mechanical wave. There are two types of mechanical wave. They are transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Now we can see about transverse wave. In a transverse wave, the particles of a medium vibrate in direction, which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. Example, waves in strings, light waves, etc. Transverse waves are only produced in solids and liquids. Next, longitudinal wave. 
In a longitudinal wave, the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction which is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. Example, waves in springs, sound waves in the medium, longitudinal waves are produced in solids, liquid and also in gases. The seismic wave formed during earthquake is an example of a longitudinal wave. What are seismic waves? Waves traveling through the layers of the earth due to explosions, earthquake and volcanic explosions are called seismic waves. Using a hydrophone and seismometer, one can study these waves and record them. Seismology is a branch of science that deals with the study of the seismic waves. Properties of sound First one, loudness. It is defined as the characteristic of the sound that enables us to distinguish a weak or feeble sound from a loud sound. The loudness of the sound depends on its amplitude. The unit of loudness of sound is decibel. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of a vibrating particle from its mean position. The unit of amplitude is meter. Second one is pitch. The pitch is the characteristic of the sound that enables us to distinguish between a flat sound and a shrill sound. Normally, the voice of the female has a higher pitch than a male. Next is quality or timber. The quality or timber is the characteristic of sound that enables us to distinguish between two sounds that have the same pitch and amplitude. Next, audibility and range. According to the frequency, we can classify the sound into three types. They are audible sound, infrasonic sound and ultrasonic sound. First, we are going to see about audible sound. Sound with frequency ranging from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz is called sonic sound or audible sound. These sounds can be heard by human beings only. Humans here cannot hear sounds with frequencies below 20 Hz or above 20,000 Hz. Next, infrasonic sound. A sound with a frequency below 20 Hz is called a subsonic or infrasonic sound. Humans cannot hear the sound of this frequency, but some animals like dog, dolphin, etc. can hear. Uses of infrasonic sound are, it is employed in the earth monitoring system, it is also used in the study of mechanism of the human heart. And the third one is ultrasonic sound. A sound with a frequency greater than 20,000 Hz is called as ultrasonic sound. Animals such as bats, dogs, dolphins, etc. are able to hear certain ultrasonic sounds. It is extensively used in medical applications like sonogram. It is used in sonar system to detect the depth of the sea and to detect enemy submarines. It is also used in dishwashers. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our channel.